friends today we have to do the experiment sonometer and the aim of this experiment is to study the transverse waves over the sonometer wires and hence to determine their velocity and mass per unit length apparatus required sonometer wires of different materials here we are using three different materials this is the constant and one this one this is the brass one and this is the copper one so copper constant and, and brass three different materials we are using in the sonometer this one step down transformer horseshoe magnet weights and connection wires theory a wire carrying an electric current is placed in a magnetic field acting normally to the direction of the current this wire experiences a force perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field and current for a particular length of the wire it is thrown into resonance and is observed by large amplitude of vibration if the current is alternating the force also alternates in direction and periodicity of this force is same as that of alternating current now this condition is achieved when the frequency of the alternating current passing through the wire matches with the natural frequency of the wire and the frequency of the alternating current can be obtained by the equation and n equals to p by twice l into root t by m where t is the tension on the wire m is the mass per unit length of the wire l resonating length of the vibrating wire and p number of segments in which the wire vibrates say one and two loops now the velocity v of the transverse wave is given by the relation v equals to n lambda where lambda is the wavelength and for vibration in the fundamental mode there is a single loop between the bridges of the sonometer wire thus the length of the sonometer wire between the bridges we got l equals to lambda upon 2 or we can write lambda equals to twice l now for p number of loops between the bridges so the above relation we can write l equals to p into lambda upon 2 or lambda equals to twice l up twice l by p Now the velocity of the transverse wave is v equals to twice n l whole divided by p. So, so from equation one and equation three, first and the third equation, we can write the velocity of the transverse wave of the wire is v equals to root t by m. Thus, for a particular wire. with a fixed tension t applied v remains constant and for a fixed mass m v square varies with t so the mass per unit length of each material of the wire can be obtained from the slope of the graph that is t versus v square now let's start the procedure how to perform the experiment now set up the electrical connections as follows so this is step down transformer so transformer we are going to join we are going to connect the transformer at the two ends of the wire of this sonometer So this where we have considered this is the constant in one. So constant in where at the two ends it has joined the transformer. Now this is the weight box. So putting a suitable weight on the pan along with the hanger. So I have put it here two hundred gram. on the pan along with this hanger now switch on the transformer and placing the wire in the magnetic field this constant in wire we had chosen first so this we place it in the magnetic field now 
the movable bridge is slowly moved and for a particular conditions of the bridge we got the violent resonant vibration and the amplitude is maximum so this condition amplitude this is maximum here here you see that the where this is vibrating so here the amplitude this is maximum here now note down the resonating length of this vibrating wear chart uh, so we have to note down the resonating length from here scale it is attached here so here we had got this is 26.5 cm so this is the observation table so in the observation table here you see number of loops tension applied resonating length so this is the first loop first resonating length so here we got the observation this is 26.5 cm now tension applied so in the tension applied you see the formula this is capital m plus small m into g capital m here this is mass on the pan so mass on the pan we had applied here 200 g so this one and small m this is the mass of the pan so mass of the pan including this hanger this is measured here 53.20 g so this mass plus this mass into g acceleration due to gravity this is the tension here so now here we have to find the velocity of this transverse wave that is the first loop so the formula this is v equals to 2 nl whole divided by p and this is the frequency of vibration se means this is 50 hertz l this is a resonating length this is for the first loop we have got here 26.5 divided by p for the first loop p this is 1 so put all the values find the velocity here now for the same tension what we had applied here for this tension we had we have to find out the second resonating length that means second loop so we have to find it here like that now here you see this is the second resonating length that means second loop this is the first loop maximum vibration no vibration then again maximum vibration that means antinode node and antinode part stop now here the second resonating length we got here 46.3 so here 46.3 this is the second resonating length that means for second loop so again you have to find the velocity here 2 nl v equals to 2 nl whole divided by p so here l this is this much 46.3 p this is the second that is 2 and n this is the 50 hertz frequency of vibration now take the mean of this to here and square the velocity here so for this tension t1 we got the velocity v square here and the same process it is to be repeated for two more tensions here for a particular material and after that you have to apply the same procedure and readings are to be taken for brass and copper wire also now for finding the mass per unit length we have to plot the graph t versus v square that is t along x axis and v square along y axis so the nature of the graph it is a straight line passing through the origin after plotting this one then you have to take any two arbitrary point take the slope of this one that slope value we got v square upon t so that v square upon t this is directly the mass per unit length of this material what we had taken here constant n and same process you have to apply for plotting the graph for other two wires brass and constant n also and find the mass per unit length of these two materials